few weeks ago, we showed you our prototype of an electromagnetic energy powered engine with active feedback that can generate up to 20,000 watts of peak power without the need for fuel. Today, we are going to show you all the measurements we used in the construction, answer your most common questions, and demonstrate a power test with several heaters that require 3,000 watts each, totaling approximately 12,000 watts. Additionally, for skeptics, you will have an extended and uninterrupted version of the test in our members only section. Let's move on to the questions and answers. Can you provide us with the electrical diagram of the motor? Here is the diagram of all the electrical connections, including the two terminals and the lead strips. What are the technical specifications and power consumption of the motor? The Liberty Engine 2 features a single phase asynchronous motor with four poles, 220 volts, 50 highs, 3 fourths horsepower, 0.55 kilowatts, and 1500 RPM with a starting capacitor of 20 microfarads. The maximum power consumption of the motor during operation is 60 watts, even though it is a 550 watt motor. This is because it consumes very little power due to the elimination of eddy currents and the absence of magnetic braking. The motor rotates freely without any resistance. Can you demonstrate a high power load test simultaneously? For this test, we will connect four 3,000 watts heaters for an extended period, totaling nearly 12,000 watts. Since we don't want this video to be too long, we will provide a summary of the test here. Remember that this is an edited version of the test. If you want to watch the entire unedited version without cuts, you can click on the link on the description or up here to watch the one hour full version.
Remember that this is an edited version of the test. If you want to watch the entire unedited version without cuts, you can click on the link on the description or up here to watch the one hour full version. If you want to watch the full, uninterrupted version from different perspectives, you can find a specific video in our members only area. What are the transformer specifications? The transformers operate at 230, 240 volts with a frequency of 50 Hertz. The model is Gall 904. In our case, the lower transformer is slightly larger because it was not exactly the same model, but the coils are identical. The only slight difference is the iron core. In the measurements, you will see that we have adjusted the assembly to fit the measurements of the transformers we have. Can you show the mechanical blueprints of the motor? Here's the manufacturing diagram of the Liberty Engine 2 structure. Can it generate 110 volts? If we want the Liberty engine to generate 110 volts, we simply need to use a motor with the same revolutions per minute, 1400 RPM, but one that works with 110 volts. The transformer coils should be of the same power, but designed to work with 110 volts. In this way, the generated voltage would be 110 volts. What are the rotor dimensions? The rotor dimensions are 133 millimeters in diameter and 110 millimeters in depth. The volume of the material is 1073.3 cubic centimeters. The weight is 7.6 kilograms. What are the magnet dimensions? Here, you can see the magnet dimensions. What is the exact alloy? To optimize the magnetic rotation efficiency, we have developed a specific alloy primarily based on silver and aluminum for the rotor. If the rotor is not made with this composition, no replica of the rotor will work correctly. We can't say, but we can give a very important clue. It is an alloy composed mainly of silver and aluminum among other materials. The total volume of the rotor is 1073.3 cubic centimeters, and as we said before, it weighs 7.6 kilogram. We have also applied special treatments to this alloy. How can we purchase a prototype? We cannot sell our prototypes because, as explained in a previous video, everything we use is based on patented technologies or protected by trade secrets, which are being blocked by the dominant energy industry. Thanks to having access to certain documents, we have been able to replicate some impressive results, which will eventually come to light. However, we cannot sell anything based on these technologies that do not belong to us. If someone promises you a device like ours, tries to sell you a unit of our Liberty Engine, or offers you a distribution license for your country, do not fall for it. They are a fraud. We will never sell any of our technologies, and they will be commercially released when the patent holders deem it appropriate. 
We hope that with our videos, the launch will be accelerated as more and more people realize that unlimited energy is possible. If they are patented, don't they expire after 20 years? The duration of a patent varies by country, but generally it has a protection period of 20 years from the filing date. Once it expires, the invention enters the public domain and anyone can use it. However, on the other hand, an industrial secret can be protected indefinitely as long as it remains secret and is not publicly disclosed. Examples of industrial secrets include formulas, manufacturing processes, methods, techniques, algorithms, or any other confidential information that provides a competitive advantage to a company. In summary, while a patent has a limited duration, an industrial secret can be protected for a longer time as long as it remains secret, and appropriate precautions are taken to protect it. These technologies are part of patents that include intricate industrial secrets. The major oil companies knew how to protect themselves very well. We hope that these answers have addressed your doubts. Remember, you have access to part of the information and the extended version of the load test in the members only area. We want to thank our community and all members for your support. This wouldn't be possible without you. Subscribe if you haven't done it yet, like us and turn on the bell so you won't miss future updates of our inventions. Thank you very much for watching.